everyone and welcome back to Hook'em on Health. My name is Amanda. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist and certified personal trainer and today I'm going to show you how to make my crock pot chicken wild rice soup. Chicken wild rice soup is a longtime favorite of mine. It's one of those comfort foods that's perfect to curl up with on a cold winter night, which we have a lot of here in Minnesota. If you've been here for a while, you know that I love crock pot cooking. It takes a lot of the stress out of preparing a healthy meal and is easy to throw together so that you don't have to spend all that time cooking when you get home after a long day of work. So let's get started. We're going to start by preparing all of our vegetables. Dice your yellow onion, peel and chop your carrots, and chop your celery. Cut your vegetables up so that a spoonful of soup will contain a little bit of everything. Personally, I like a very flavorful and herby chicken wild rice soup, so this recipe uses a lot of seasonings. Into a small dish, measure out one tablespoon dried parsley, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon dried sage, one teaspoon dried thyme, one half teaspoon dried rosemary, one half teaspoon dried marjoram, and one half teaspoon ground black pepper. Now it's time to add everything to our crock pot and start cooking. Add your rinsed wild rice, chicken breasts, chicken broth, onion, carrots, celery, and seasonings. Cover your crock pot and cook on low for seven to eight hours. Once your cook time is up and your chicken is cooked through, remove your chicken breasts from the crock pot. Shred and return. If they're so tender that they're falling apart like mine are, feel free to just shred them in the crock pot. Just make sure to be careful so your soup doesn't spill over the sides. Then, it's time to make a roux on the stove to thicken our soup. Melt your butter in a small saucepan over medium heat. Add in your flour and stir until well combined. Let the mixture bubble for about a minute before beginning to slowly pour in the milk. Whisk continuously until all the milk has been added and a thick, creamy mixture has formed. Add your roux to the crock pot and stir until well mixed. Serve with crackers, crusty bread, or your favorite soup sidekick, and enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. A link to the full recipe can be found in the description box below. Let me know down in the comments your favorite comforting winter dish, and if you want to get hooked on health, make sure to subscribe to Hook'em on Health here on YouTube and follow me on my other social media accounts. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all back here again next time.